This video tutorial explains us how to create an X mesh on a solid part. To import the geometry, select the command File, Import, Geometry and then choose the file. Accept the defaults in the solid model read options dialog box by clicking OK. We have to subdivide the solid to facilitate hex meshing. Let's subdivide the solid using embed and slice operations. Select the geometry, solid, embed face command. Select the lower surface and then click OK. In the solid embed face dialog box, click OK. Select the geometry, solid, embed face command again. You can also use the Ctrl plus Y hotkey to repeat the last command. Select the left side surface as shown below and click OK. Click OK in the solid embed face dialog box. Repeat the geometry, solid, embed face command again. Select the surface on the third side. Click OK in the solid embed face dialog box. View the four solids resulting from the three embedding operations. Continue to subdivide the solid using slicing operations. Select the geometry, solid, slice command. Select solid 1 and then click OK. You are now prompted for the location of the slicing plane. Click on the methods and select global plane as the cutting method. Choose the XY plane as the cutting plane. Right click in the graphics window and select snap to point. Select one of the points at the end of the blend. Click OK to slice the solid. Repeat the geometry, solid, slice command again. Select solids 5 and click OK. This time choose the XZ plane as the cutting plane. Select one of the points at the end of the blend on the left side. Click OK to slice the solid. Repeat the geometry, solid, slice command again. Select solid 5 and then click OK. This time choose the YZ plane as the cutting plane. Select the points at the end of the blend and then click OK. We see there are 7 solids created. To hex mesh the model, right click the geometry object in the model info pane and select mesh size from the menu. In the automatic mesh sizing dialog box, select hex meshing. Set minimum elements on edge to 5. Leave the remaining values to default. Click OK to set the mesh size on the parts. Femap will then change the surfaces of the solids that can be hex mesh to translucent blue and automatically link the surfaces that connected solid share. The model is now ready to mesh. Create a material. Expand model object from model info pane. Right click on material. Select new. In define material dialog box, select load button. In select from library dialog box, select stainless steel and click ok. And select ok again. To create property, right click on the properties, select new. In define property dialog box, select element slash property type. In element slash property type dialog box, select solid and click ok. Give title as steel and select the material created from the drop down list and click OK. Right click the geometry object in the model info pane and select hex mesh. In the hex mesh solid dialog box, you should see that steel is used as a property. Click OK. Your meshed model should appear as on screen. We thank you for watching our video. We hope that this was beneficial for you. For any queries or assistance, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.